sorry if you can see everybody that's in here. I'm having a big issue with um, red worms, which you can see right there. I was feeding a lot of blood worms. Everybody and welcome and thank you for tuning in this is a two-part series and this is the second half of my guppy tanks enjoy this is the second wall I have of fish tanks these shoe box tanks which I call them are for um, holding and raising fry then I have another red Delta colony in here and I just took out all the fry in here because they are the females are dropping and the juveniles I saw chasing the newly um, the newly birthed fries. So yeah, that female's definitely running. I put like a, a red flamingo male in there because um, they were dropping more of like a sunset red guppy. So I just wanted to change it and get something more, a little bit more red, but they are definitely hiding in there. They don't want to be seen. Um, I had my bat, black mascot pair in here. Unfortunately, the female had died. The male, he is finally not looking too good. But a lot of the fry in here are from, I guess, his, these will be considered his grandchildren. <clears throat> I did drop a few red um, Delta fry in here, which are the big ones. <laughs> they chased, they ran as soon as I moved the camera. But they're skittish. But a lot of them are mixed black mascot fries, so they are looking good. It is a lot of them in here. I'm not sure with this camera. I gotta put a lens on it so you can see how many fry are in here. Let's see if we get some footage. Can't really get any footage of the hospital tank. But I just cleaned their tank out and just remedicated them. More if you can get a side view, you can see everybody that's in here. I'm having a big issue with um, red worms, which you can see right there. I was feeding a lot of blood worms, not as a treat, just a, a food to fill my guppies up. But I stopped that probably like months ago, but I'm still seeing the effects of the fry who peck at the bottom and the worms have to be at the bottom. So I'm just, um, if as soon as I see that it's a major issue with any of the guppies with the red worms, I definitely take them out and put them in here so I can treat it better. Um, I do have a red bino in there. Um, I had her in one tank. She wasn't doing too well. She was just at the bottom here. There she goes. She wasn't doing too well. I tried to medicate her with the other, um, her other siblings, but I just didn't want to medicate everybody, so I ended up putting her in there. So you have probably like three different types of medicine. One for the red worms. Um, we have some, what is it, general, general care put in there, and some erythromycin. So we'll see what happens, and hopefully these guppies I can save. Um, I had this hospital tank set up for months. Um, I do continue to do um, weekly water changes, probably like three times a week on this tank and just re-medicate and then remove fish out when they get healthy. All right, right here I have my black panda guppies. I did put some mascal black females in here but unfortunately, when I was cleaning the tank, I realized that I only have one male left, but I have a lot of females who look like they're gonna drop fry in a couple of weeks. That's why I put this big artificial ball in there um, so the guppies, the fry can have a place to hide before I pull them. The funny thing about it is, 
the filter I had was just sucking up all the guppies and I did have some medium back here, filter medium back here. And I noticed that it was a problem because the filter medium was getting dirty a lot faster. So I just pulled it out and now I have like two Fridays who've been living back there for weeks now. And I let them stay back there and I just make sure I feed them and just keep up with the water changes in the tank. You can see that it's some cool down there, that's why it smells in there. Um, I just learned recently, like I just feed my fish two times a day. You can actually do three, four, even six times a day. So I'm gonna feed them a little bit more on my tanks um, and do more frequent water changes in order to produce larger guppies. This small tank did have a Dumbo ear um, melon here, but the fry that was dropped did not look anything like Dumbo ears. So I'm just raising them out. Um, I'm not sure exactly where they're gonna be, but we'll see in um, I guess a couple of weeks but they've pretty much grown from baby fry to this size now, so I'm pretty happy with those. And we went over these tanks, so let's move on. This is where I keep some of, of medicine and food. This is actually, I need to, this shelf, I need to put a finish over it. But they didn't put a finish over it yet, I just put paper towels. These are brine shrimp, they probably need to be um, changed. These are how I produce my brine shrimp. Just putting these little containers here. You can see that we got some movement. Try to feed the fry at least twice a day and the adults get a treat of adult brine shrimp, which I have also in the container. These are the same thing. You can tell like the light orange patches. Just below you're gonna find a lot of the baby brine shrimp. I do have like odd spaces across this room where it comes to different fish. These are um, fish that I got not too long ago, and I've been treating them in here um, before introducing them to the tank. And you can see there's some adult rice shrimp in there that they haven't eaten yet, but I'll just let it sit in there and um, so they can ch have a chance to eat throughout the day when they get hungry. But I definitely know next time not to overfeed them because these fish always seem like they are always hungry. It's not a good view. Just cleaned this tank out earlier today too. It's like three males and one female. I need to take her out and put her into another tank. I'm not sure. But they're so skittish. I need to put something in here so they can feel more relaxed like a plant. But it's not really good light here, so in this corner, so I'm just let them be for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and hit that like button and feel free to share with any of your friends. And also, if you want to keep updated, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you.